I put that so he posted that first on his Instagram. And then he also posted, uh, the last thing he posted in his story was this quote. Even if you hear a bad story about me, first understand. There was a time I was good to those people, but they won't tell you that. He was just, a, I thought they, he, when he was up here, he said that they worked on it and everything was good. They, and they were going in a different, they everything. renewed their vows, they were going in a new direction. In the meantime, Krista was in her car playing Glorilla FNF. So you know what that means. What does that mean? F and word free. So in other words, single away from these F boys. So that's what she was listening to in her car and posting. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Oh, and by the way, Neo did ask for people to uh, just basically for the sake of our children, my family and I will work through our challenges behind closed doors. Personal <sighs> matters are not meant to be addressed and dissected in public forum. What's up, class? Come on in, guys. We got a good one today, guys. Crystal Renee has filed for a divorce from Neo again after six years of marriage, guys. Keep in mind that these things are going to happen more and more frequent as people realize that they, the people that they matched with for economical reasons and for hold me down and secure me reasons. If it don't match, it don't match. It don't fit, it don't fit, no matter how much you force it. And see, a lot of you guys think that these celebrities, because they have money, that that make them alpha. That don't make them alpha, guys. That just make them beta with some cash, bro. Blue pill with some cash, guys. So you're going to see a lot of this with our celebrities, guys. Also, I want you guys to keep in mind that in the video that you saw in the intro was Neo at um, the Breakfast Club talking. And a, another question was asked of him that if his girl cheated, would he ever wanted to know? Do he ever want to know if a girl cheating on him? And he said, clearly, no, I don't even want to know. I don't ever want to find out. And clearly, you're going to see that. Dudes that think like that normally are the cheaters. Normally are the creeps, bro. Now, our God don't like, he don't like a cheater, yo. One thing our God don't like, he don't like a cheater, he don't like that adultery shit. He take that shit very serious, you know what I mean? Because from cheating, a lot of sins come. A cheater is a person that's not walking in a truth, you know what I mean? So that's another, that's that's one of the main things that you gonna always get caught when you try to do this cheating shit. You gonna always get caught, fellas. You gonna always get caught, bro. You know what I mean? It's in a woman innate nature to figure shit out, bro. And they gonna figure it out and it's going, you already a slave in a gynocracy. So cheating just puts you at a far end. Cheating tightens that leech. It, it tightens that chain, bro, that noose that they already have around your neck. So guys, keep it as real as possible. Let's go on and get into this story. Now, I mean, I'm going to read a little bit and then I got a video I'll play. Crystal Renee has filed for divorce from Neo again after six years of marriage. In the petition filed in Atlanta early this week, Crystal Renee said that her marriage to Neo is, is unfixable with no hope of reconciliation. She also stated her soon-to-be ex-husband recently fathered a child with another woman outside of their marriage. You know what I mean? And guys, that normally will be the deal breaker. You know what I mean? Even our grandparents, the most toughest woman 
on 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 the face of this earth. I yes, our grandparents, guys. They had a cardinal rule that you don't bring home no AIDS and you don't bring home no babies from another outside relationship. You know what I mean? When you start fucking that fat, that easy ass, that easy ass shit up right there, then you know you 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 you're a hell of a son, bro. You're a hell of a son. Ain't no if ands or buts about it. You can't follow those simple instructions. Don't bring home disease and don't bring home nobody else's baby for your bloodline. Then use a whole dummy. All right, guys. And that's all I got to read. I ain't even fitting to read no more of this bullshit. You know what I mean? You can already imagine it was eight years of lies and stupidity and toxic toxicity and tick for tat. You do this, I do that. You cheat, so I get to cheat. Just don't let nobody see. Don't let nobody be able to tell me that. that you know that bullshit, that old bullshit that y'all be playing. You know what I mean? If you want to be a hoe, be a hoe. And if you want to be a cheating ass nigga, be a cheating ass nigga. Keep it a buck. Let the other person get a chance to, to, to realize, like, all right, this is what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm working with. And I mean, nine times out of ten, you'd be surprised, yo. They just want you to tell them the truth. They already know you a whole ho. Let's get into it. Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. If you look up the word narcissist in the dictionary, I'm sure Neho, what's his name, Neo, would be pictured right there. This man and his wife, Crystal, are going through a divorce. Neo supposedly had a baby on her, according to court docs, which you know your girl got her hands on. And this fool goes and likes pictures of the girl holding her belly. And that's not all. The girl looks just like his wife. Mr. Hetty Murphy, you have done it now. Anyway, before we get into all of that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. So Neo and his wife Crystal have been married since 2016 and they've had their typical marriage ups and downs. But when Crystal took to her social media last week, spilling all of their tea, saying that she was done, I said either somebody's pregnant or the baby is already here. Either way, there's a baby involved. And lo and behold, I was right. There are certain women who can tolerate cheating. But adding a baby where now money has to come out of the house to take care of another family, that's out. And I think Crystal is one of those women. Last week she Again, guys, exactly what I said, guys. That's exactly what I said. Remember, that was the deal that our grandmother broke in with our grandpa. And he still managed to go out there and be dirty dicking it, yo. You see what I mean? Like, and that's another reason why I don't really... I. I respect my baby boomers, and you know what I mean, I got love not by default. You got to show me some shit. You got to show me that you're not an idiot. You got to show me that you're not a dusty little slime ball nigga. You know what I mean? Like that. Because they fumbled the bag. Those type of old school heads fumbled the bag for us young generation, bro. Took to her Instagram and she said, eight years of lies and deception. Eight years of unknowingly sharing my life and husband with numerous of women who sell their bodies to him unprotected. Every now that's her whole crap and cab leg. She knew about it. She just was mad and now she got a safe face as if she didn't know because Mr. Asshole got caught out there publicly. He got caught liking other, other bitches posts and it turns out the other bitch was his other baby moms. So that's what happened. That's what that about. Don't, don't play victim now, ma. You knew damn well for eight years what you married. You married Neo. You married a star, a celebrity. You know what I mean? A heartthrob. You got a big ass head, though. Funny looking head. But in any event, the girls don't give a fuck. That's proof. You don't matter about looks. The girls do not care about how you look, bro. As long as you got the bag, as long as you got the chicken, they with it. They rolling. Every last one of them to say I'm heartbroken and disgusted is an understatement. To ask me to stay and accept it is absolutely insane. The mentality of a narcissist. I will no longer lie to the public or pretend that this is something it isn't. I choose me. I choose my happiness and my health and my respect. I gained three beautiful children out of this, but nothing else but wasted years and heartache. I ask that you all please stop sending me videos or information of him cheating. Damn, Hattie Murphy, I know good and darn well you ain't let them record. 
record you. Are you kidding me? Because what he does is no longer my concern. I am not a victim. I'm choosing to stand tall with my head held high. If someone can't love how dare you? How dare you? No wonder no one wants to come home for Easter to their Filipino parents. Love you the way you deserve, then it's up to you to love yourself. With no hate in my heart, I wish him nothing but the best. Crystal Renee. And Hetty Murphy goes and likes oh, it. Oh, rumors start to swirl that Neo had a baby. Neo had a baby. And I kept seeing pictures of a girl that looks just like Crystal online. And they were like, that's his baby mama. So word broke yesterday that Neo did actually have a baby on Crystal. And TMZ and other outlets said that they had the documents. But they don't ever show them. But you know I got you. Investigations is what I do. Go ahead and cue the theme music. These niggas love these Instagram looking ass chicks that all look the same, B. They all look the same. This is why they forever getting cheated on. Cause niggas be slipping up in the wrong coochie, forgetting that, that that's not your girl. Your girl look like that, but that's not your girl, bro. But goddamn, Neo. Goddamn, Neo. And this is the shit that I'll be talking about with the beta males, bro. They they got that feminist ideology just like they hell of a mother, bro. They think they can have it all. They don't gotta sacrifice nothing. Why even get married? See, this the shit. This is why I don't really be respecting these married niggas either, bro. Why get married? That's some coochie cock blocking shit right there. That's some you want to take the chick off the you want to take the chick off the own um, playing out the out the game, but then you still out there in the game. Why don't you might as well let your chick be out there in the game too? What kind of shit is that, yo? That's why I don't be respecting these married niggas, bro. <laughs> We're going to get into this first document, which is the general civil and domestic relation case filing information form. And when I saw this, I said, okay, this is pretty simple. But two check marks came up and one of them was a little alarming. You have domestic relation cases. So she has checked disillusion, divorce, separate, maintenance, alimony, and then family violence petition is checked. And I'm like, what the hell? So I really want to know what this petition is. So I mosey on over to the clerk authority, Georgia Superior Court Clerk Cooperative Authority. Now in the protective order petition, they have three different types of protective order petitions. You have petition for temporary protective order. You have petition for stalking. Yo, salute to the shorty channel that we on, but this a nosy bitch right here. You see the shit that bitches be having a chance to do? They be having time to do all this shit. Get all nosy and shit, bro. Listen, I'm going to bring y'all the information and either you believe it or you don't. I ain't fitting to get all nosy like this. But this is some good shit right here. If you ask me, they're always going to do some domestic. They're always going to file for the domestic part because that's how they get the free crib. They get more of the victim privilege when it's domestic issue. Get that, guys? They, they, they move faster at them offices. Temporary protective order. And you have petition for dating violence, temporary protective order. I don't know what happened, but I do know that bill is checked. That's all I'm going to say. Crystal is saying that she's done done. Something had to happen. Maybe besides this baby, because this baby is actually over a year old. Something else had to happen for her to really get online and say, I am finished. So this is not the very first time this couple has filed for divorce, but the first time Neo filed, this time Crystal is filing. Now, Crystal is a petitioner, of course. Neo is a respondent. They both live in Georgia. They've been there for more than six months. They were married on February 20th of 2016. And they separated on July 22nd, 2022. And since that date, they have continuously lived in a bona fide state of separation. Now, they're saying that Crystal is entitled to a divorce from Neo upon the grounds that the marriage is irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. And respondent Neo has committed the act of adultery. Petitioner Crystal further amends her petition for divorce over any and all additional grounds as required by law should it become necessary. Petitioner should be awarded temporary and permanent alimony in all forms from respondent for her support and maintenance. Then they go on to talk about their children. One was born in 2016. Now here comes the drag, y'all. Here comes the drag, yo. When you really don't want to be with somebody, all it takes is for you to be like, listen, I don't want to be with you no more and you can leave. Now, I mean, I know women that left every fucking thing. The house, 
everything, bro, because they really did not want to be in that situation and they didn't need any support from somebody that they're trying to get away from. You see, this is what makes the divorce shit so funny to me with all this alimony shit. That's only supposed to take place when the, when the husband dies, guys, when the husband is dead. These women are rocking on these laws and their husband is alive and well and breathing and paying for them to be able to rock on these privileges. So I, I'm not... I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. That was a male. One was born in 2018. That was a male. And one was born in 2021, which actually seems to be the same year that his other baby was born. Speaking of the other baby, the parties have no other children as issued together, living or deceased. There are no further children anticipated to be born or adopted as issue of this marriage. However, respondent has recently fathered a minor child with his paramour. Petitioner is not currently pregnant. Hetty Murphy, let me find out you was laying it low and spreading it wide. The girl in question happens to look a lot similar to Crystal. And Neo did like a picture of her holding her belly on February 20th, 2021. However, Neo and his wife Crystal had their daughter on June 25th, 2021. She was actually born four weeks early. So it looks like Neo's other baby was born prior to him and Crystal's baby. It's Neo following her and her following Neo for me. Like, if you're going to be discreet, be discreet. Crystal then asked for primary custody of the children, and she wants shared joint legal custody of the children with Neo. Crystal wants a sufficient amount of child support. Of course, of course. See, and listen, this is why... A lot of you guys give them the easy way out. This is what I call giving the modern woman the easy way out. What you gonna do? What you gonna say, bro? You know, you know she's done. She's going to tear you down, bro. She's trying to make sure you don't bounce back with that other baby and that other woman now. So now she's going to drag you, bro. And guess what, bro? You did it to yourself. You did it to yourself, not keeping it real. See how that worked? And then your sin for adultery is going to be getting dragged. Now, I mean, you guys got to understand, God going to pay these bitches back for their sins because they looks. You can't escape it. That wall is undefeated. You know what I mean? And the women that's running the muck, they just, they're going to deteriorate so fast. But guess what? Our, our value come in at, guys. Our value as men come in in our wallet, guys. You, you can't hurt no man. By, you can, only way you hurt a man is by through his wallet, bro. And that's what God do. He hurt us through our wallet, guys. You know, for that immoral sex move that we did and skeet skeeting in the club, some of us had to pay that child support. I'm a firm believer in that, guys. Yeah, yeah. He didn't expect us to understand how many Liliths it was going to be, but they'll be paying for it, guys. They'll be paying theirs, too. Don't worry about them paying for theirs. Let's just face ours and move on. And she also says that she brought some property separate to the marriage and she wants to leave with said property. Crystal wants Neo to be solely responsible for any and all debts and obligations independently acquired by respondent and that respondent hold petitioner harmless for any such debts and obligations. Crystal said that they both have accumulated property and certain debts and obligations during the course of the marriage and she seeks an equitable division of the same. Crystal said jointly they've acquired certain real and personal properties, both tangible and intangible, during the course of their marriage, and petitioner desires and requests this property be divided as provided by law. Goes on to say, as per Georgia law, don't do none of that sneaky mess and start transferring properties. Neither one of them can do that. All of the property that they have has to remain as it is until this divorce is complete. Then they say you can't make any changes of assets. If this is what you're making today, this is what you need to be making tomorrow. Don't be trying to do nothing sneaky with your estate, with anything else. This is Georgia law. Leave things as is until this is completed. Oh, that was pretty much it for that document. Then we have a document for motion for interim attorney fees, alimony, child support, and request for temporary hearing. Now, Crystal filed for divorce on August 1st, 2022, and she is currently unemployed and completely dependent upon Neo for support and maintenance. She also says that they both agreed for her to be a stay-at-home wife and mother for the majority of their marriage. 
Respondent is employed as a singer, record producer, songwriter, and has significant self-employment income. She said he's rich. Petitioner seeks an interim award of attorney fees because he is the breadwinner and sole provider. He should not have any problem paying her attorney fees. She's requesting $25,000 right now to temporarily pay her. Yo, they dragging, they dragging Neo, bro. He calls this on himself, and she gonna drag it. And the laws and the privileges is designed. Hey, go your white privilege, bro. Hey, go your white supremacy, fellas. Keep in mind, yo, remember, we gonna learn from these dummies. You can learn a lot from a dummy. Yes, we are. Her attorneys, but the attorney's fees, honey, is $114,466. Girl, I could have filled out some paperwork for you for a good 25 and got you everything you needed. Well, that's pretty much all for the documents. I pray for them. I really want to know why nobody else is talking about this family violence petition. Like, am I the only person that know? TMZ, all of y'all, People Magazine, all of y'all got these documents. It's just too much at this point. It's a lot of nastiness. It's a lot of unprotected sex going on. Babies being made. It's just nasty at this point. And these celebrity men that probably would not get the women if they weren't talented and rich, they just going crazy. They used to not get. Big facts, guys. Big facts. And these are the guys that before they got their little success, before they got their success, it was awkward around women. So they get around these women and just get took into the ringer, bro. Get took to the ringer. Remember what I told you guys. The the farther you get with the self improvement and the higher you get up in the ranks, the more people gonna make you pray. You become prey. You know what I mean? Change the laws of your mind before you get the bread. You know what I mean? Because when you get the bread, you not gonna ever wanna change the laws of your mind. You gonna get lazy and you just gonna throw money at your problems. But you know what I mean? Money don't fix all these problems, guys. You got life problems, and then you got money problems. And the money problems don't fix the life problems, bro. Isn't it like that in high school? They get grown and they don't know how to act. And it's nasty. And it's too much. Y'all leave a comment. Tell me what you think about everything going on with Neo, Crystal, the new baby, the old kids. What's going on, y'all? Leave a comment, and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you. And salute to you, sis. Your word. Great reporting. Great, great everything. Yo, you had the documents. You was a nosy motherfucker. But we appreciate that. We appreciate the facts. We removed the gray area. So, y'all, make sure y'all hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Salute to all the new good breads that been came over and subscribe. Salute to you guys. We doing it, guys. Wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. Two videos is about to pop up so you can continue your viewing experience over here at the School of Common Sense. One on the left, one on the right. Go ahead, click those now, guys. I'll see y'all later.